Hi, this is Sam from ONGC Systems and today we'll be looking at sharing with your OneDrive personal account. So first things first is we need to open up our file explorer, come down to your OneDrive and uh, I've created a folder here called pictures and inside that is a ONGC logo that we have I've placed in here. So the easiest way to share with OneDrive is through the OneDrive Explorer. Uh, it's not very secure but it's uh, very quick and uh, easy. So if you right click your OneDrive icon or item or folder you can create a share OneDrive link and what that will do is it will copy a link and you'll be able to paste it into any media chat or uh, web browser to access that file online. So if you're talking to your friend on Skype and you want to share a photo with him then you can just right click and grab that uh, link for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a private window just to show you that uh, I don't need to log into OneDrive to see the photo and just hit paste. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, given me access to this OneDrive photo. Uh, they won't have access to any of my other files unless I've given them permission to that earlier. Alright, we can go ahead and close that one now. But uh, let's say you wanted to share a file with a specific person and you only wanted them to view that file, you didn't want them to edit it. So I'm just going to go to your OneDrive login. So it's just onedrive.live.com hit the sign in button as you can see it's remembered my demo account here we're just going to hit next put in your user credentials and sign in so in my last uh, video we created a file called test or text sorry and what I'm going to do is I want to share that file with myself I'm going to right click hit share and I'm going to put in my work email address And in the quick note, I'm just going to say, test, can you look this for me? And uh, if you click this little button down here, so reciprocants can edit, you can get a little, a few drop down menus that will sort of give you more of an advanced options type field. So what I want to do is, he will only be able to view it, and I want him to require to sign in. To a Microsoft account. So that's the part that's going to make it much more secure to share your documents using OneDrive. Uh, it'll force him to log in using that credential and just keep in mind you have to have your username uh, verified for this to work. So if you're a new user to OneDrive it'll ask you to verify your account before you can continue this process. So I can just hit share there and now what that's done has it sent a link to sam at ongc.com.au and when he clicks that link, it'll request him to log into his OneDrive and he'll be able to view my document. He won't be able to save it or download it, but he'll be able to view it. So if I want to stop him from uh, viewing that document now, I've, I've made some changes to it. I don't want him to see it until I'm ready with my new, uh, my new document. I can just go ahead, we can close this one just to show you from scratch. Right click, share, and you can see it's already shared with Sam Sainty. We can hit the drop down menu here and stop sharing. And what that'll do is now when he clicks that link that's already been sent in the previous email, it'll just come up with an access denied uh, web page. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned a thing or two. And if you have any issues, don't forget to call us on 0755 Thanks.